Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Times Bit of Window. Today we're going to be doing another Pro Overwatch, and this is going to be on Henny. Now here you can see it is Immortals vs. SK Gaming. This is uh, probably going to be a pretty close game. So they're both Brazilians, and they practice for each other quite often. Here you can see they're making their way inside, and Henny is spotting the upper part of the ramp. Now Steel's holding it with them. They did spot out Taco, and he fell back. They're hesitating for a moment, throwing some smokes. A couple flashes go in, and they're going to take take it down the ramp. One deep flash out, and Henny's going to push right through the smoke. See if he can catch anyone here. He does see one guy in connector. He's going to drop this smoke right here. That allows him to kind of get a little more distance from that location he was stuck in. But uh, he's able to take out one guy before he goes down. And he's got a flashbang in a hand. It looks like he's making his way over here towards the middle. One guy is on top of this train, pushing up. And he's just kind of hiding here in this corner. They got a little crossfire going in case anyone pushes through. Looks like his teammates are all kind of just set up. They're taking everything pretty slowly. Kind of just aimed on that guy right through that container without actually seeing him. Then he came and shot him in the face a moment later. That is one of the biggest things about Henny that I've seen in the past. I mean, there is a, uh, a match that they played on, I believe it was Cobble, where you can see him almost blatantly aiming on people. If I could remember what match that was, I will make sure to do that so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. But there has been some very suspicious activity from Henny. He's working his way outside quick down ladder. His team really has the sight for the most part. Three guys are over by Ivy, and he sees some of them. He's taking shots at him. He's able to connect with one of them and do a bit of damage to some of the others. That leaves them in a 4v1 against Taco. Looks like Taco is flanking them, coming out team mid and sneaking in. And he's going to make his way inside again. He's going to drop a flash to render him from pushing and check down ladder. He's got an angle with an AWP. Actually does leg uh, the CT, but he takes a little bit of damage. About 40 points of damage there. Looks like his teammate's going to go down first, and he's going to follow him down to ladder room. He's got a flashbang. He's going to throw it off the wall so his teammate can come out. His teammate's going to come out right through the smoke. He gets picked immediately, but Henny is able to get that trade looking over towards bomb train. One guy is hiding behind bomb train in case anyone comes around it. He's not entirely sure where people are. Just checking the right side of that bomb train where his teammate died a moment ago, but as you can see, Fur has already repositioned. He's going to smoke off connector. He's in a 2v4. So he's got a bit of work to do and he's only got 13 health to do it. A couple guys one by Ivy, one guy watching middle, one on bomb train, and one back alley. So his teammate's able to get a pick and make that two picks. Oh, sorry, I thought this was a 2v4. It's actually 3v4. And check that. Takes a shot at him right through the, tr the bomb train. I'm not sure he actually spotted him out there. I think he knows he's there just because he killed his teammate, but still, that was a little awkward. And he's going to make his way over here towards middle. He's got this AWP. He takes a shot towards connector, but doesn't connect with anyone. Obviously, he was blind there, so you couldn't see anyone. He just took a shot while blind. And he's checking all the little cracks and crevices that he can to see if he can spot anyone out. And kind of just holding passively with his teammate. Looks like he's going to start creeping up, and a guy is boosting on top of that building and is able to take him out from connector. Henny is making his way back over here towards mid connector where they throw an incendiary grenade and block him off from going out quickly. His teammates throw some flashes out, and they're going to just go and straight up take it. He's going to go over the fire, he gets damaged quite a bit, he's about halfway down in health. Gonna push through these smokes with his teammates, taking the point, and he spots one guy on sight that goes down. Henny is setting up for his set smoke, his teammates are throwing flashes over mid, and he's just kind of waiting right now 
for the go, I guess. There goes the smoke, and they're going to come out middle and come out ladder and try to take the outer sight. Smokes are blocking off a lot of things. He's taking some spam shots where he assumes people might be. Took a shot up on top of that building because Fallen was there and had picked him earlier. Looks like he's going to be making his way out middle fast with his teammates. They didn't really set much up. They just threw a couple of Molotovs out and just kind of taking the sight. The other team is on save, so it's a pretty decent call. And they're able to get control of outside, still taking spam shots into the smoke. But they do have Fell on top of Bomb Print. Cold Zero tried to flank, picked down Steel, and Henny's not able to turn around and take him out with a quick headshot. Leaves them in a 3v1. He's going to drop a smoke on Bomb Train and plant in the smoke. Last guy is coming from back alley and is taken down by Fell Para. Looks like Henny is going to be trying to make his way out middle again. He's watching that corner right there, connector. Doesn't spot anyone out, but he knows someone's shooting from over there. His teammate definitely spotted someone out before he died. Checking behind the train. He spots one just a brief moment, but then another one, Fox, comes out from connector and is able to trade him out. Henny is making his way towards Ivy. He hasn't spotted anyone out yet, but he has taken a little bit of damage from nades. He's going to be pushing his way up here. Doesn't have any body armor, so if he takes a shot, he's going to be inaccurate. Oh, he knows that there's a guy in that corner and takes him down. Takes Fox down as well with some pretty nice shots right there. That leaves Fallen in a 1v2. And we all know how good Fallen is with that AWP. And he's going to be playing it pretty safe. Playing it pretty far back behind this wall. Lucas's main goal is to spot out Fallen, and when Lucas gets attacked, hopefully Henny will make sure to get that trade kill, or he'll just try to hide if the bomb is down with enough time. Because he is in a pretty far distant area, so there's a good chance that Fallen won't have a chance to defuse this bomb. Smoke goes off, and he's going to come out. He's going to try to spam him through the smoke. He's not able to connect with him. It's a little bit sad, but he actually does pull the pistol and is able to take down Fallen through it. And he is making his way inside very quickly. Takes that angle while looking at that guy straight through the wall. Just maybe has the angle down very well. It's very possible. These are top level players after all. He's going to be holding that lower ramp in case anyone peeks it. Meanwhile, his teammate has the upper ramp. And it looks like the bomb is positioned in hall. So I think this will be an inner take. It looks like his teammates are rotating over. He's just going to continue to hold here until they are ready and can set up some smokes, flashes, and then they'll take the site together. As you guys can see, the last terrorist outside there is just kind of holding, making sure that nobody flanks up behind them while they're getting ready to set up. I'm going to position some flashbangs and smokes. Looks like Henny's going to be dropping this flashbang down the ladder. And maybe not. Looks like he bailed off that idea. Which I thought was an interesting one at that. He's holding flank for a moment. They're getting all set up and... Smokes are going in. Flashes. And here they take the sight. And he's holding flank. Gonna come down and see if he can spot out connector. He does spot out Fox for a moment. He tries to re-peek it, but he gets taken down by Fox. It looks like Henny and his teammate are making their way down towards Ivy. He's gonna be picking it, see if he can find anyone. Smoke does come up, that's gonna delay them for a moment. Looks like they're just gonna hold back and wait for it. He actually jumps over to the other side, throws a deep nade, it hits off something, and it doesn't quite go as far as I expect he expected it to go. Just kind of holding this in case anyone pushes through, passively and silently. His teammates are holding position. They've got control of ladder room. And they will be pinching this in a second from ladder, middle, and uh, ivy. He spots one guy fallen over here towards ivy for a moment.
Looks like he gets blocked off with incendiary grenade. Teammate throws a Molotov to make sure no one pushes. And now they kind of have full control of Ivy. Being said, they're now in a 3v4. And he can spot out one guy, but he's not quite able to tag him. There he goes, he's able to get the kill. Tries to peek out and go for another flick shot, but isn't able to connect on that one either. He's making his way over here towards Ivy again. This time he has a Tech 9 and full armor with a Molotov. He's going to peek out, he spots out Fallen. Fallen does not take him down with that AWP. Fallen repositions over to the left side. He has a good angle with it. He's back alley with an AWP, so he should be able to get some picks with it. Lucas, however, is able to take down Cold Zera, and they take inside. So, CTs are going to have to rotate over, and Henny is kind of flank control. That being said, he's the only one that doesn't seem to have a rifle at this point, so he's going to try to pick up this AWP. Someone has tapped the bomb, so he's going to have to have either him or his teammate go in and get that kill. His teammate drops down, immediately gets taken down, but Henny's able to get the guy defusing the bomb anyways. Leaves one guy left, he's in a 1v1 against Fallen. Fallen tries to go for the defuse, but Henny's able to peek out and take him down. Henny's going to be making his way out middle very quickly, he's looking over towards Ivy. A guy has actually pushed up Ivy, but he did not catch him. This is kind of holding that angle though, in case anyone tries to peek from over there. It seems to be his job right now. Meanwhile, his teammates are trying to get picks in other locations. Not sure if he saw that nade, but he definitely saw that guy cross right there. Guy's getting on top of the train, taking shots at his teammate, and he flicks up and tries to shoot him, but doesn't actually connect. His teammate does take him down. Fallen is in mid-connector, and looks like Taco is flanking from behind. Taco is able to get bombed down. He's going to actually go back up that ladder. I'm not sure if he can actually see the bomb from his angle, but... That still means that Henny and Fell are going to have to find a way to get over there and get that bomb. He's going to smoke it off and see if he can get across. He drops a flashbang into ladder room, checks it, doesn't see spot anyone out, picks up the bomb, and makes his way... Well, instead of going back out, it looks like he's going to be sitting here under ladder for a moment. His teammate is actually flanking connector, if you look... Uh, inside and connector and he's able to pick the guy inside so Henny's gonna go up the ladder and make his way towards the inside bomb site because they believe it's clear now. Fallen is in connector and Henny is gonna be planning in a spot where his teammate will be able to see it all the way from the back of those trains on that other side towards CT spawn. They know where Fallen is at at this point. He's able to hit Fell. Leaves him a 1v1 against Henny and Fallen takes out Henny. And he's going to be making his way inside with the USP. Him and Lucas are creeping up. They will run into people here. Lucas is able to take out one, take out two. And Henny's going to start falling back with him. Takes a couple shots. Isn't able to kill someone. Does do a little bit of damage. Now he's able to take down Taco. And be watching inside. But it looks like they double back. And Fel is able to take out the last two. He throws his... Incendiary grenade and flashbang outside towards mid. Drops a smoke off of uh, over by ladder room and he's gonna push up into their mid. Fallen is watching it passively and Henny is kind of just sitting in here in case anyone tries to push. And Fallen pushes right into it. Looks like Taco's gonna be coming back now. Taco seems to be pushing towards him again. And he's still holding this exact same position in case anyone decides to push in. Spots him out, and he's able to take him down as well. Looks like Henny is going to go right back to the same spot. He seems to really like this angle, and you can see why, as he's already taken out two of them. Cold's going to peek him now, he's able to take him down, and the final guy, Fox, peeks out and takes him down to 2 HP, and then shoots him through the wall with a deagle. That's pretty nice. And he's able to finish off that final kill right there uh, that his teammate did a lot of the work on. <laughs> Looks like they had him watching inside this round, and no one came inside. They actually went outside, but he's able to 
pick up one kill up in White Halls, and his teammates are able to take down the rest of the other team. Throws a flashbang in the mid, he's going to be peeking it from an angle up top here. He does spot out Fallen and takes a shot, but isn't quite able to connect with it. Right now there's nothing in mid, and it actually looks like it's probably going to be either an inner take or they're going to split between Ivy and Ladder. Looks like the terrorists are about to take the outside bomb site, and he is watching towards Ivy. They make their way out middle, he turns and tries to watch this right alley here. So they will take down one of them. He's not able to connect with Fur. He's watching Inner. He notices a bunch of them cross. He's going to drop an incendiary grenade to keep them from pushing out, but they're going to push through it and take quite a bit of damage as they do so, but he goes down quickly to Taco. Looks like Henny is watching mid from connector. They push out, he does spot him, he's not able to connect to the shot. Doesn't quite react quick enough. He's able to take down Fox. And then mid rotate his way back around towards back alley. This gives him a nice little angle on the last few guys if they do make their way over here. Actually, he's kind of holding. For some reason I thought they had spotted out the last three, but they could have gotten fallen back, which is true. One of them is over by Electrical Box. He's peeking through the smoke, seeing if he can get an angle on anyone. Not sure that he spotted anything out there. Looks like Henny tries to pick one in between those two trains, but is not quite able to get the kill. There it looked like Henny just kind of aimed on Fox momentarily right through the train. Gonna be creeping around here to see if he can get a better angle on him. Fox is holding it right now, and Henny's actually gonna fall off of it, and make his way towards inside. Smoke goes down inside, and Henny's spamming some at it. And guy's making his way up towards upper. Steel takes some shots. And Steel's actually able to take down Taco, but he gets traded by Cold Zero. Looks like they're going to be playing the bomb in her here, and Henny's pushing up to see if he can get the kill. He does get Fallen, and pick up that AWP, that puts him in a situation that he enjoys, because he does like to use that gun. He's going to drop a smoke on the bomb, and he might even try to go for the defuse on it. Keeps checking towards that lower ramp, and Fur peeks out and takes him down. And he's making his way outside. And check this right side of the alley. He does spot one out. He's not able to connect with Fallen. Fallen is actually down to 80 health. I'm not sure if he hit him through the train or something like that. He's kind of holding stuff out here. We're going to make his way up towards heaven and make sure that no one pushes through mid. Looks like the terrorists are going to be making their way inner though. And he's going to be rotating through connector to see if he can spot anyone out on the inside. He's going to throw a flashbang before peeking out because I guess they assume that it's already compromised. Checks towards upper. Hadn't spotted anyone out yet, but they are coming in here, making their way down that lower ramp. Peeks out, but Fallen's able to get the kill. Looks like the terrorists are able to get a pick at ladder room. And it actually looks like it might be an outside split from mid connector and ladder. Henny is sitting over here watching Ivy to make sure any, no one comes over here and peeks out. His teammate's able to get two picks, but it seems like they're going to be making their way out mid. He's going to drop a smoke to try to protect himself a little bit from that Ivy push. But one guy is actually going to be pushing through that. Henny's holding outside. Flashes and smokes come in. He's just going to be holding this angle. His teammate gets taken out. Another one of his teammates gets taken out, which compromises his left angle over here. So he's taking spam shots into the smoke, hoping for the best. Gonna be making his way up towards CT Heaven. Does spot out Fallen, he's able to take him down through the wall. Holding the right side of this train in case anyone tries to go around the bomb train. So he's up over the top of it, checks towards ladder. Isn't quite spotting anyone out. So 
think he's gonna throw a flash into well i think he was going for a connector wasn't able to throw the flash in the correct spot but he was able to get that kill comes up on bomb train and he gets taken down this is most likely the final round of the game uh and he's just got this 5-7 but you guys know how op that is it looks like he burned someone to death with a uh incendiary grenade so it is winnable in a 3v2 right here, even though he's only got a 5-7, but uh, it's a long distance map, so I assume that he's going to want to get a pretty close to someone, well, medium range at least with that. And uh, looks like he's just going to be playing outside passively next to uh, Ivy. Last two guys are trying to figure out how they're going to get that bomb. They're slowly taking everything together, side by side, making sure they're going to be able to get that trade in case anyone is guarding it. Luckily for them, no one is, but they're going to probably pick that up. And I'd assume they just try to take the inner site. And he's peeking outside, just checking everything that he can, seeing if he can spot anyone coming down ladder. His teammate is spotting inner. And I believe the call should be made now. He's going to be rotating over. Spots one guy up on Pop Dog. He wants to make his way up towards the top of that ladder, but he knows that he's got an AWP, so he doesn't want to get shot. He's trying to figure a way to creep up. He's getting... And there, there is that smoke. He's spamming through it. Fallen is able to take down his teammate, and Fox is able to take him down. It leaves his final teammate in a pretty hard situation. Fallen's just going to peek from up top while Fox peeks from the bottom, and that is it, guys. That is the end of that game. 16-14 loss, and he had 26 kills. And if this were an Overwatch demo, uh, I wouldn't say that I could report him for anything. There were a couple areas where it looked like he was aiming on people through walls, specifically Fallen for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that's him to line up so often. But overall, he did not seem like he knew where people were all the time. Occasionally, even though it looked like it would kind of get on to someone's, it wasn't as bad as some of the other players I've, you know, done pro overwatches on. Uh, he does not seem to be as skilled as Fallen. But, you know, either way, he is still one of the top players in the world right now. And uh, as far as I can tell, he looks legitimate to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.